We're joined today by the Hold Steady, Craig Finn, Franz Nicolay, representing the band. And of course, they've just released their eighth studio album, Open Door Policy. Congratulations, a top 10 record. Top 10. It's uh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, it's our eighth record, which, you know, is, uh, a lot of our favorite bands don't get to their eighth album. So, I mean, that's a, that's a feat in itself. But to have one that feels special, and, you know, within the band and well received by the fans and the audience, it seems even better. Yeah. So, yeah. so this was actually recorded back in a couple of sessions in August and December of 2019. Uh, and then reality struck. <laughs> yeah, we, we were pretty much done with the record by the of 2020. And uh, we just had some overdubs really to do and mixing, of course. We went off to play our shows, our annual shows in London um, on like March 6, 7, 8 of 2020. And by the time we landed in the US, it, it, it appeared that we were in a different, um, uh, a different place. And that was the last time we played in front of an audience. Um, so we took our time, you know, getting the record ready. Um, we, we may have dragged our feet a little bit trying to figure out what's happening and when we would, could play shows around the release of it. Um, but eventually, you just got to the point where it's, we better put it out. We better put it out. It's going to get old. So uh, my, impression, my impression is that, you know, well, the, the strong feeling that I have really is that the hold steady when you like put out an album, it's meant to be shared and it's meant to be shared live. <laughs> so, like, you know, I can see why you'd want to put it off just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think every band wants to do like the record release and all that, but I'd say that our, you know, the community around our band is, is very, very important. So yeah, we uh, think we pride ourselves in being a good live band. So yeah, we wanted to have that release. Um, we were able to do it sort of differently through the miracles of tech, today's technology, um, but we're still looking forward to playing these songs in front of an audience. So I think the South Paradise is right Boys and girls in America They are such a sad time together Talking off each other at the demonstration Making sure they make them straight Crushing one another with colossal expectation Dependent on discipline and sleeping light So really cool kisser Wasn't all a shit for the person she was a damn good dancer and she wasn't all that great of a girlfriend. And he likes the warm feeling, but he started all the dehydration. And he likes the pussy clear, so now it's like he's stuck with some stations on the radio. The devil and Sean Berry, and they took a little walk together. I ended up on Washington, I'm talking to the river. He said, I surrounded myself with doctors and deep thinkers. They had some soft bodies spent for lousy rubbers. It was that night that we thought that Sean Berryman could fly. But he did so he died. He said, You're pretty good in the words. What's one save their life when they didn't so he died? And he was drunk and exhausted. Critically acclaimed their respected. And he loved the golden gophers, but he hated all the drawn out winters. And he likes the warm feeling, but he sighed all the dehydration. Plus, that's a kind of fuzzy, last night he had total redemption. You know, these slip city kisses, they sound like clicks and hisses. We all come down and drown on the Mississippi River.
Well, we drink and we dry up and now we crumble in the dust We get wet and we corrode and now we're covered up in rust We drink and we dry up and now we crumble in the dust We get wet and we corrode and now we're covered up in rust she was a really cool kisser, wasn't all that strict of a person. She was a damn good dancer, she wasn't all that great of a girlfriend. And he likes to all feel him with his side of all the tea hot tricks. Most nights are crystal clear, tonight it's like he's stuck between stations. You know these sweats that he kisses. They sound like clicks and hisses We all come down and drown You know, I know, Craig, that you used your time in the pandemic well. You went back and rediscovered the Kinks catalog. You traded in Twitter, traded in Kindle, Twitter. and read a bunch of books. Um, but it had to be sort of, you know, I'm sure it was the same for you as it was for everybody else. What what are we supposed to do with this? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, we all struggled with with sort of how to um, how to fill our time, and and I mean, not, not just fill the time. I mean, Franz has kids. Some of the guys have kids, so I'm sure time was amply filled by um, the young people. But uh, but you know, I think it's just also a matter of having new ways to kind of keep um keep keep creative and keep uh, keep connected, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So Franz, I'm assuming it wasn't all kit for you. I mean, it was a full year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, they, right, the kids are home. So there's, it's not as much about filling time as about, as about keeping, keeping your, keeping your head, head straight. Um, and uh, <laughs> and everybody, I think everyone went through a bunch of cycles of ways of dealing with that um, from, practicing to purchasing to uh to try and to be creative in whatever ways we can you know i really hate you know, i really time a show gets announced all of a sudden you know a couple of days later it gets rescheduled but according to your website you got some shows coming back you know, beginning in late may i think you may have just jinxed those um <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I don't anticipate we'll play in late May. Um, you know, the, uh, everything is kind of, we'll find a date for everything, but I don't think it's going to be May. I think, uh, you know, some of this is just kicking things down. I think every band has had to kick things down the road, um, when it comes up and you keep doing that until you find a date, but it really looks like artists are putting out, um, putting out tour dates that look pretty real for the fall, real for the fall. So maybe then. And it's the first time I'm seeing new tour dates, not just reschedules. Yeah, right. Which is exciting. Right. Feels real. So um, we have some live music to share, and it's from a session that you all live streamed from the Brooklyn Bowl. So you haven't been completely without live performance. You've just been with, without like oxygen breathing humans in the room. Yeah, we. We do two kind of, uh, our, our years kind of the past few years that there's sort of two bench posts or I don't know, goal posts, I don't know how, fence posts, some kind of post that uh, we hang our, we hang it all on. And uh, that's the Brooklyn Bowl, um, what we call Massive Nights in December. And then the Weekender is what we call it in uh, London. And uh, that comes up in early March. And these performances, we still wanted to do it. Obviously, still wanted to go to London, so we went to our hometown club, the Brooklyn Bowl. They let us play and uh, um, live stream it, and we went on at three p.m. in the afternoon, um, so we could maximize to the to the people who were missing us in London, uh, prime time for them. But anyone could watch, uh, no matter where you are. It was eight p.m. in London, noon in California, so you're either having a you know a pint of bitter or a mimosa. Uh, depending on where you were and um, it, it was great and it was allowed us it was a couple of weeks after we put out this new record so it allowed us to go through some of the new songs which uh, I think is what we'll be playing here. One of the things that I love getting ready for this interview is just the mutual admiration that everybody in the band seems everybody to have, have, for each have, other. have for each other and the sense that this and is the best lineup ever and maybe the best record ever. Yeah Franz you want to take that? 
I think that's right. I mean, this has turned out to be the longest running creative collaboration, I think, in all of our lives, um, which is something that you really have to appreciate and, and, and cultivate and not, and not take for granted, you know? Um, and I think, uh, you know, everybody always feels like they're still putting out their best work, but, but we do too. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, <laughs> you can't help but say that if that's what you think. You know they took away my headphones Sure they let you keep your hands set But the courtyard is a dead zone And the nurse that they assigned me Had eruption as a ringtone Blasting out through built-in speakers like it's bug spray Buzzing like a hornet halfway blow I'd advise you not to leave Fed some nickels from the fountain Make your friends and fall asleep Let your sins be of a mission Wish you wouldn't engage with all these creeps Cause they're never gonna love you That one specific way that you want them all to love you Scheduling and a willingness to trade your medication Obsessive and controlling and coming up on total suffocation She came into the cantina singing this must be his place Faithful as its limits, I just want to see his face Before she took her shot, said a little grace Said, Lord, grant me the power to stop these hands from shaking Been fallen in the fountain since a week or so before Been rattled by the accident, my shoulders were still sore I almost rolled my eyes when they asked me how to score But sometimes it feels sweet to be the teacher Well, they were calling through the car, but I could not resist her charm Walking through the fortress, the calm of the family farm Out along the towers, there were guards with heavy arms Yes, there was some tension with the neighbors Drinking on the runway strip, tripping on the runway Laughing at the jets as we watched them fly away She says you get what you get if you push too far ahead we'll Put us in these places for a reason Resonation that's creating its wisdom. But none of the night was jangling the keys of the kingdom. Resting in the lobby at the hotel on the highway. Not sure you even want to be rescued. Now you're never gonna love you that one specific way that you want them all to love you. And you want them all to love you. Um, Kiss fan, and I, every time I say that, I, I hear Paul Stanley in my back in the background of my head saying, "This is the greatest Kiss album ever." Um, but I really do believe it. This this one uh, this one felt very special, and I think, as Franz said, we've we've all been together. And um, this lineup is really cool. Franz really cool. was not in the band for a while. He came back um, in the time he left. We um, had Steve Selvage come into the band. And it feels like since for the past few years, since Franz came back to have them both in the band, to look to my right on stage and see them both there is both comforting and exciting. And I think it's uh, maybe like the East Street Band when you got, you know, uh, Nils and uh, little Steven back together, but I call it, you know, the stu super steady or hold steady 3.0. It's, it's the best because it's all hands on deck and everything's firing on all cylinders. You know, the thing that I also really found interesting was, Franz, you had to sort of occupy the same space 
as Steve. And so really it was like, you had to find a way to work with the guy that was your replacement. And like on the face of it, like we've all seen situations like this. So they don't usually work very well, very well, but in this case they did. In this case it did because, I mean, Steve's a very generous musician. Um, I think we all wanted to, you know, we all had had investments in making it work. And and when you have, when everybody's on board with the project, there's no, you know, there's no reason it shouldn't. There's a way in which uh, the more people you put in a band in, on stage, the less everyone has to play, uh, and that helps um, free up space so that everyone has a has a, has a little auditory elbow room. I know you bonded, know you bonded with Steve a little bit over the fact that you're both parents. I was kind of curious how being a parent has changed you as an artist. That's an interesting question. I mean, you have to make your, you can't be as self-indulgent. Um, you have to make your working time more productive and that really focuses the mind. Um, I just, I think psychologically it's, it's humbling for most people. And that just as a as a as a maturing process is 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 a good thing and and um, and probably makes you a better collaborator too. I, I don't have any kids. I don't have I'm any kids. still out of control. <laughs> <laughs> and we wouldn't have it any other way. Our guest today on the bridge, the hold steady, Craig Finn, Franz Nicolay, and the new album, Open Door Policy. You know, we were talking in, in the last little segment about efficiency and, you know, the old process for an album was get everybody together in a studio and pop open a couple of cans or, or more of beer and, and see where it goes. Um, but now this is like far different as, you know, Craig, instead of writing with beer, you're writing at the table, you're writing at coffee, the in the table morning. coffee in the morning. Yeah, I mean, I think our process yeah, I mean, I had to change for a variety of reasons. Um, probably the biggest is that we all live in different places now, or, or, you know, not everyone's in the same place. Most of us are in New York, but Franz is in California and Steve's in Memphis. So, you know, a lot more is done with technology and sharing files back and forth, and then really kind of maximizing, you know, the, the being efficient when we get together. And uh, I definitely have changed my, um, you know, writing thing uh, to, to be... Um, to try to capture my mind in the morning. Um, although I've been experimenting with different times lately, but but that seems to work where I get the best stuff I've found over the years. And yeah, we can't, you know, it, you, at the beginning of the band, there could be eight, an eight hour rehearsal with a bottle of whiskey and a case of beer. And that like, no one has the constitution nor really the time anymore um, to do it that way. And so we've kind of found a way that, um, that really works well for us, you know, and it, it's been, it's been really fruitful for the past two records. Franz, I wanted to ask you about the process of building these, the music, you know, cause you, you start off looking for something new, something that will excite you and the rest of the band, but then it's sort of like everybody starts grabbing these things out of Dropbox. And my sense is that it's mixing and matching and splicing together and moving around. And, and some of that collaboration actually begins with just working with other people's files. Well, that's what you want. I mean, one of the effects of doing it this way is it forces you to pre it uh, to present people. All you know, all of us who write the music are presenting more fully realized, fully baked um, ideas than we would if we were sitting around, you know, staring, looking at each other, being like, "Okay, who's got a riff?" You know, <laughs> otherwise you're because because you want you don't want to waste people's time. But at the same time, you know, the the counterpoint to that is you don't want to present. And I've been guilty of this. You know what? You try not to present such a fully formed demo that it doesn't leave any room for it to be a group project, right? It, like it has to go through the hold steady filter if it's going to be a hold steady song. I mean, the benefit is, you know, it's always going to be a hold steady song after it goes through that filter. So you can throw a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily um, scream hold steady song uh, at the wall. And by the time it comes through, it, it, it is that thing. And, it, and, and along the way, it sort of widened the, 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 the frame of what constitutes a Hold Steady song. So Open Door Policy has so been out for a few weeks, weeks now, but it was really kind of finished, almost done at the end of 2019. So I guess the overarching question, which is like, you know, I mean, it's just at, the, new, the, the new one's just out, but is the Dropbox full already again? 
It's it's not full, but it, yeah, it's getting there. I mean, we've got a lot of ideas. Look, a lot of time elapsed. And uh, um, I think that a band um, that is working, uh, being creative um, is is a happy band, right? You know, I mean, I think that that's, uh, that's the, I think that's one of the things we're in it for. So yes, there are recording dates um, discussed and um, there is there are wheels in motion. So I don't want to put any expectations on it, but like, yeah, there are new songs. Every morning we burn the bread. Walk it down to the water's edge. See the seagulls eat cigarettes. Check your breath in a spoon. All your stuff in the storage shed. Twisted sheets on the trundle bed. And the anti psychosis meds. Made you feel all marooned. Last summer at the shore when I was working, cleaning carpets at the hotel that was haunted. The sailor that supposedly was murdered at the losing all this treasure in the harbor. That's back when I found romance in these girls. Honest, they won't bother by the hundred miles of hallways, then the clanking of the shackles, or the shadows in the doorways. And we snuck into the ballroom, and I made echoes in the empty. I grabbed you and I spun you And it both just started laughing All the birds on the windowsill Said she's crazy about horses still And the antipsychosis pills much power and grace Up there on South Ocean View All the shells made me think of you We bought in through a three for two And a strawberry shake First it's April, then it's August It's the cost of doing business all breakfast was unpleasant You just can't keep throwing up And cover it with sawdust And pretend we didn't notice And act like it didn't happen That summer at the shoreline When you walked into the water Went out up to your waistline Turn back and face the camera Roll your eyes back in the sockets Erase your middle fingers Defying and undamaged So when I took the picture Yes, 
Coffee's cold, this toast is gross. I no longer see the romance in these ghosts. Our guests today on the bridge, Craig Finn and Franz Nicolay of The Hold Steady, celebrating their eighth studio album, Open Door Policy, which is already out. Uh, and this time around, you worked with Josh Kaufman. And my understanding is, as a producer, one of the things that he brings to the party is just a sense that this should all be fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Josh is, it's funny because we may, I think the open, you, most people would say Open Door Policy is kind of a heavy record. And, um, but even when we were making a song that was heavier, you know, um, discouraging in some way and in tone, um, it was always fun to make. And I, I've made a, a few solo records with Josh and then we made two Hold Steady records. And I'd say that's one of his um, hallmarks is that he, generally have a good time hanging out and being in the studio with him and he um i feel like everyone everyone gets along and he keeps it light and uh um gives us enough room to kind of discover the the uh where we're you know where we need to go with it and um uh but most of the, you know really had a great really time recording. Had a great time recording. so um, my understanding is he was the one who kind of broached the concept that you all should think of this as an album well, we, we put out the last record. We were kind of putting out records, singles, basically. We were putting out songs digitally as we recorded them. And, and, and that was really great. We, and it got, got sort of us going as like, you know, to when, when Franz came back in this lineup to start making music together, writing together, putting stuff out, which was exciting. And we compiled those all to make a, a record, Thrashing Through the Passion, which came out in 2019. But when we started this, Josh was kind of like, we should think about this as an album. And one of the things that, uh, you know, as a lyricist, certainly, it made me think about as like a overarching theme. And I think you just, you know, to use, I like sports metaphors. Um, when, you're re re when you're recording just singles, you're swinging for the fences, um, always. And when you're made, talking about an album, you might think about the weird last, the, weird last. the song that fades out, the at, the fades end. out at the end, the, you know, the weird song that's on, on the second side, you know, all the, all the things that make up an album that don't really, you don't really think about when you're making singles. You know, there's um, there's been a reference to this being like the best headphone record that the whole Steady's ever made, and it's a concept record in a way. Uh, and then there was also a reference to well, this guitar riff was kind of David Gilmour esque. Is this the Hold Steady's Pink Floyd record? I mean, is it? There was um, there was an early demo when we started making this record. Um, I think it was for the song Lanyards, but I don't quote me on that. But Josh, we were in Josh's little sort of demo studio. And um, I don't know if everyone was there. I think I was there. Tad might've been, I can't remember if Franz was there or not, but Josh started playing a fret. And it reminded me of something on the, um, on the wall. Uh, I think, hey you. Uh, and, and so we started joking about Pink Floyd, you know, this is our, the wall. But then we started thinking like, hey, if you're talking about making albums, those 70s Pink Floyd albums are, you know, some of the best examples you can think of, of, of a true, the true form. So I guess I'd like to think it is either our dark side of the moon or our uh, wall. glass on the microwave and the ash tree in the kitchen and I could tell that it was difficult to bring that sort of subject up it was tough to bring the subject up Sleeper city on the power play Yeah, in the garden with a day to spare And if you know the perfect words to say You can get it almost anywhere 
That's a pretty heavy covenant To make with someone powerless Said I'll ask about that other stuff If you're still prepared to pay for it I know the perfect place to go Slide your little phone into the airplane mode Motel Mariposa A little south of downtown on the front of the You know it's stories on the scorch mark Here are bass lines on the bus and the lights I'm sorry, just to say We're gonna need another night Stay a second night I sell software made for offices It increases their efficiency Hospitals and local governments That's a pretty heavy cover On the tracks of the airport I was hoping for Tucson around town Start the sign and right back on my phone to find a friend There seems a lot of persons, a couple different bodies in this one life I'm sorry but my meeting got delayed, we're gonna need another night First I watched them play his instruments Resonator with a missing string Then I asked about the songs he did So I decides what songs he's gonna sing Then I asked if I could shake his hand and Then I palmed him almost 40 bucks and Then I asked about that other stuff On the microwave, the ashtray on the kitchen that I could tell that it was difficult the Sleeper city on the underplay You can get it almost anywhere If you know the perfect words to say That's a pretty heavy covenant To make with someone powerless He said I'll ask about that other stuff Met a guy up at the music club Found him almost 40 bucks To make it safe to bring the subject Cause it's tough to bring the subject up Cause it's tough to bring the subject up It's a pretty heavy covenant Our guests today on the bridge, Craig Finn and Franz Nicolay of The Hold Steady, their eighth studio album, Open Door Policy, is out now. You know, the, there's been a lot of talk about the themes of the record, power, wealth, mental health, income equality, but you don't really set out with that overarching theme. You just start writing and then the album sort of reveals itself. And that's all often the case. Um, I think I was thinking a lot about mental health. And when I, when I um, sort of looked at all the songs we'd written, I kind of looked back, I was like, wow, there's definitely some themes, mental health being one. It seemed like it talked to pe about people's occupations a lot, which um, kind of is the wealth part of it. And uh, people doing like, you know, transactions for, um, and so I, I, all these things started to pop up and you're like, wow, I guess that's what I'm thinking of. But all of these things also became more prescient when um, 2020 happens. So the, the record, you know, a topic like mental health, you know, if we, we wait for all of 2020 to release this record, that's aged like a fine wine as far as a topic and as far as a, a theme for the record. You know, when it comes to writing, um, you know, Craig, you write like nobody else, which is a sign of a true artist. It's really great. But what does it feel like to have people tattoo their, you know, your lyrics on their body or to have a, a website dedicated to 
trying to make sense of all of the code that's in, in the language? I mean, it's flattering, first and foremost. I mean, it means people are paying attention, which is the goal, right? Um, you know, um, it's rarely unpleasant. It, you know, occasionally it has been, but, but mostly it's just flattering and it's an honor to have, so, you know, so many people who pay that much attention and pay close attention. And um, in some ways, I really feel a kindred spirit because that's the kind of music fan I was, especially growing up where I really poured over lyrics and, you know, looked for hidden messages and was probably um, spotting some hidden messages that there weren't really there. That was, that was something I spent a lot of time on. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it, I, I think in the, that, that, that shaped me as an artist and I'm just glad people are listening. So Franz, you're an, um, a writer as well. Uh, you had a book called The Humorless Ladies of Border Control, touring the punk underground from Belgrade to Ulaanbaatar. I probably butchered that uh, word, country, whatever, nay, city. Whatever. But it was actually named as season's best travel book by New York Times. And you've got a new one out uh, on June 1st, but this time around a novel, Someone Should Pay for Your Pain. What can you tell us about it? Uh, it seemed, I mean, writing a novel seemed like the next, the next challenge after having done a book of nonfiction. Um, it's also about a touring musician. So in that sense, it's not, you know, it's not too far from, uh, from, 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 from my experience, but it's more of a, it's more of a cautionary tale. <laughs> it's the, 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 the kind of, the kind of touring musician to avoid becoming. So just give so it just one more plug. One Some more plug. Should pay for your pain. It, you can pre-order it right now and it will be out on June 1st. Want to thank uh, both Craig Finn and Franz Nicolay. The Hold Steady, the eighth studio album, Open Door Policy is out now. Guys, really, really, really great record and really appreciate your time as well. Thanks so much for joining us today on The Bridge. Thanks for having us.